Welcome back to Tightwad Workshop. The backyard of our house has two blurry trees directly under a power line. Every couple of years I need to prune their tops back down again. I usually wait until they grow into the data cables, which is still a safe distance from the power wires. I'll start by setting up this step ladder. Then it's just a matter of climbing up and snipping off branches. Every now and then I'll carry an armful of prunings to the truck. Then it's back to the tree to cut some more. After two hours of work we'd finished the pruning. The next step's to secure the load with multiple ropes. Then top it off with a tarpaulin to hold most of the leaves in place. Now we'll go to the rubbish tip, which here in Canberra is located at Mugger Lane. It has the rather grand title of Resource Management Centre. This facility handles garbage, recycling, green waste and reusable items. A private company, Corkill Brothers, runs the Green Waste Collection Service. This is where you can drop off garden waste like tree prunings and lawn clippings at no charge. Corkills then grind up and compost the waste and sell the compost back to the public in bulk form. This is the drop-off area. When it fills up, they send a bulldozer around to push the green waste over to the shredder. Let's remove that tarp and ropes and get this unloaded. After unloading, always carefully sweep your truck clean. I've got another tree pruning job to do today, so we'd better get back to the house. Unfortunately, I don't have time to take you on an inside tour today, but for collectors of old tools, the green shed is the happiest place on earth. We had a storm one Saturday and this branch has fallen out of a tree in our front yard. It's broken off near the trunk, but it hasn't broken all the way through. I like to wear these Kevlar chaps when I'm working with a chainsaw. In theory, they should clog up the saw and stop the chain before it has time to fully cut my legs off. This helmet has a face shield and hearing protection all in one convenient unit. This is a battery powered electric chainsaw. It's very quiet which makes it perfect for stealing firewood from your neighbour's yard. I'll also be using this battery powered pole saw for most of the work. This lets me stand well clear of the overhanging branches while I cut them loose. This isn't a big deal for little branches like this, but a heavy chunk of tree branch can really ruin your day if it falls on your toes. The pole saw has a tiny little cutter bar, but it'll easily cut through 150mm or 6 inch branches. Let's just pull that last bit down. Now I'll chop them up into convenient sizes to load on the truck. Mrs. Tightwad is handling both truck loading and camera work today and doing a superb job. It's our tree, but it landed on the neighbour's driveway. The last piece of branch is too tall to reach with the pole saw, so I'll have to use the chainsaw from a ladder. I'm keeping the tree trunk between me and the branch, just in case it falls in an unexpected direction. Oh. 
This was the most exciting moment of our whole weekend. Now I'll cut the branch up into sections small enough for me to lift. Feels like I'm really deep in the forest now. I've been requested to cause no damage on the smaller trees and shrubs, so I'm operating here with surgical precision. Surgical precision. That's all for now. Thanks for watching. Tightwad Workshop is filmed in front of a live studio audience.